Hello, I'm Tremor Boria. Playing Station Ears today. I got your comments. Your air conditioner exploded. That's cool, man. Mine did too. So we're gonna fix it. I've built this little room. It's full of cold, crap Mars atmosphere. We have a gas sensor in there. We can measure the temperature and pressure. We put a relief valve over there. Back pressure? Back pressure valve over there. Air conditioner. Cold air in, hot air out into the room. We get that. That's easy. Coolant pipe is insulated to the rad, but we've got one of these little dealies right here. We're gonna pipe this up in a second, but first, we're gonna put one of these portable tank connectors. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Boop, right there. And then I guess we can connect our coolant, which is carbon dioxide. I've pulled out of the atmosphere, filtered, obviously. We've got 2.19 megapascals at 12 degrees Celsius. The temperature doesn't really matter. I don't think either of those numbers matter. This like below three megapascals is important. Kinda, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go, man. You know what? We're not gonna attach that yet. We're gonna pipe the thing up first. Yes. Pipe. We're just gonna build a loop over. You know what? I'll just do it. Hang on. That's not right. <laughs> cool. Ta-da. Got it. That's why we didn't hook the carbon dioxide up right away. I don't know what happens if you remove a pipe with gas in it. I assume you lose that gas. I don't know. We're going to connect this now, and then we're going to connect some more stuff. Because we're not done building things yet. I assume that's the system that you've built that's exploded. We're going to install a passive drain. Not that we really need it. We're going to do another thing. Doesn't matter. That's just like a safety, I guess. I don't know. And I'm just going to put two of these on here. Convection rods. Not because we really need it on Mars, but I feel like when the temperature changes, we actually do have a bit of a pressure drop in the atmosphere. Maybe we don't. I don't know. I don't live on Mars. I guess I do here. I should know that. Pipe analyzer and a gas heater. And we need to build a circuit. Because what's going to happen here? The sun's just gone down. We're minus 22 degrees already. So that coolant inside this system is going to drop really fast. And if we're pulling cold air out of a room, the air conditioner will be putting it into the coolant, which will make it cooler, faster. Carbon dioxide will create condensation at a certain point. It'll freeze. The pipes will explode. We're gonna we're gonna deal with that now. God, I hope this makes sense. So I've connected the pipe heater and analyzer in a very simple way, and I've brought them over here to this circuit, which isn't done. We're gonna finish now. But logic reader, compare unit, memory, logic writer, the same thing I do every time. I'm gonna connect these. We're gonna set all our values. We're gonna turn it on. The video's gonna end. We might blow something up. I mean, we will blow something up, but it might blow up on its own, huh? I thought that was gonna be more work for some reason. So logic reader in would be the pipe analyzer and the variation or variable, I don't know, the var is temperature. Compare unit one is gonna be that logic reader. Two will be the memory and out is gonna be less. For the memory, we wanna set it to five degrees Celsius. So, 278.15. According to Google, logic reader in is the compare unit, out's gonna be the pipe heater, and the out variable will be on. Variable? Variation. Variable. How long have I been playing this game for? So our coolant's less than five degrees right now. We're gonna turn that circuit on. Yup, yup. Yup. Pipe heater comes on, heats up the coolant to five degrees, then shuts off. Why is that important? Because if we heat it up too much, it'll explode. And if we let it get too cold, carbon dioxide turns into a liquid and then freezes and explodes. So now that that's taken care of, we can turn on our air conditioner and the temperature will start rising. Novel. That's slower than I thought it'd be. 
So this isn't the most efficient coolant setup, but it won't explode. And that's what we were going for. You can fine tune it on your own or not, whatever. You can see here that as that temperature is going up, our coolant temp is going down. So we could put a batch writer on that circuit and put a second heater on here. It didn't really need it. That room's already 30 degrees. I mean, we could heat it up more. Yeah, let's heat it up more. It's nighttime right now on Mars, so it's minus 47 out here. That coolant is still at five degrees Celsius. The air conditioner is pulling heat out of the coolant, transferring it into the room, which if the room was a lot bigger, we'd actually need the two pipe heaters, but that's fine. Um, I forgot what I was saying. This works. Nothing exploded. There's no condensation in the system. Nothing bad is happening. So that setup worked. I'm gonna, I know there's extra crap on there that we didn't really need, but that's a really small room. So I think if it was bigger, we would definitely need the two pipe eaters. Um, I don't know. You can dick around with it at your own discretion. Uh, I'm gonna title this video Easy Air Conditioner or something. I don't know. I guess that's the end of today's video. Huh, what have I been doing for the last six months? Hang on, hang on. I built, I built this computer. I mean, you can't, we'll use this footage and put it on the screen in the video. Oh, I'm just filming the dog apparently. Um, that's what I did. It took me six months. I don't know why. I just talked a whole bunch, but I, I don't think we're gonna use that. We're making content again. We have a bunch of stuff recorded that needs to be edited. I did this video first because people asked about the air conditioner, so I hope that helps. If not, let me know. I'll make another video about it. It probably won't help either. Thank you for watching and have a good day, man. Not all gamers are pro.